what his learnings from this is he's working with epigos in madhya pradesh as you know madhya pradesh has large number of epigos and uh, what learnings he has and then how his learnings can be used by all of us across the country to make a change this is what uh, the core theme about uh, today's presentation uh, i invite shaji for uh, taking over the floor thank you thank you sir uh in fact uh, 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 you had asked me for a recent photograph of mine because it is almost 7 years yeah it's 7 years ago uh, since yeah. we have last met my hairline has receded and your hair has grown a bit more <laughs> <laughs> it became whiter yeah so we have become wiser yeah uh-huh. both of us have become wiser yes 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 <laughs> Yeah. So uh, thanks for your introduction. And uh, in fact, uh, as uh, Dr. Ramu said, uh, I have been working with the FPO sector uh, since 2013-14, and uh, since the last three four years, I have been working. Uh, I should say I have been concentrating extremely uh, much with this farmer sector, farmer producer organizations, and uh, FPOs that we call. in fact uh, this uh, new fpo sector uh, this uh, central sector scheme of this 10000 fpos i have been providing support to several cbbos for their training of their ceos capacity building and all these activities in fact uh, for also for this um, uh, baseline survey diagnostic study activities also we have provided su- uh, support to many fpos and uh, since the last one one and a half years i have been noticing a very uh, it's a difficult trend with this upcoming new new uh, new scheme of pos in the sense uh, uh, i have been in touch with uh, more than 25 30 pos uh, of this new sector, central sector scene and it has been shocking for me to see that none of these pos have started on with their business and they are having huge problems with their um, manpower issues and also with their funding issues and things like that uh, and this has got to such a serious problem uh, that uh, this uh, fpos are uh, sort of squeezed on funds this uh, fpo management cost uh, it's uh, not coming because of uh, failed milestones and things like that so overall i'd like to say ki this uh, new central sector scheme for fpos is in a very big mess that i could see uh, hardly 5 to 10% fpos uh, uh, can survive uh, and uh, uh, and again of those cbbos ngos who already have a project in that area and if that uh, fpo has been come uh, is coming up in an area where the cbb or ngo already has a project so only in that case i could see that fpo uh, sustaining itself surviving itself and able to take up business activities so otherwise if there is no other um, subsidiary project uh, other than the fpo project in that cluster it become uh, it, it will be very difficult for that fpo to survive by itself because of funding and other other issues so uh, what happened is ki if you analyze this uh, funding pattern milestone pattern of this uh, that has been given by nabard i have i have taken nabard as an example so there you can see i'm just i'm just putting it to short ki uh, what uh, forced me to go into this uh, F, uh, smart fpo concept so i i was just giving a brief history of so if you look at this uh, uh, milestone uh, based uh, 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 management cost payment as per nabard so you will see ki the fourth milestone that is in the fourth uh, quarter uh, from the establishment of fpo that is in the after 9 months to in between the period 9 to 12 months and the fpo is uh, expected to develop their business plan and in the fifth uh, quarter the fpo is expected to submit it to the um, bank and get a financial linkage credit linkage and things like that so oh, my assumption is that most fpos would be failing on at that stage because fpos would not be 
first of all able to prepare the own business plan as required by bank and second uh, since the business plan cannot be prepared as per the bank requirements then the uh, milestones the fourth fifth milestones cannot be completed and the, the funding of this project management cost could face problems and if the project management cost starts becoming squeezed then the cbbo and the fpo will have a huge problem in at least uh, meeting the day to day expenses like rent electricity salary of ceo and other things and if those expenses cannot be met i cannot see how a fpo can move forward so based on that i decided ki we should be coming up with uh, some uh, system or techniques by which we can we can if we can start on with the business activity um, uh, as soon as possible instead of waiting for 9 to 12 months so uh, if if that can be done then um, uh, some of the funding issues uh, related to fpos can be uh, tackled in the sense uh, if the fpo is able to start on with its business activities within 3 to 6 months then the revenue obtained from this business activities would be sufficient should be sufficient i should use the word sir, should be sufficient to take the fpo over to the next level and meet its own costs and generate gen, generate inter, internal revenues and things like that so for that um, uh, i thought ki matlab ki we should be doing something the second thing is uh and it's a matlab it's expected that about uh, 3 to 6 6 to 9 months will be take, um, would be the fpo would need about 6 to 9 months for mobilizing the um, shareholders farmers and things like that but uh, i think with the use of prop with the proper use of technology there are many techniques by which we can motivate uh, the community members in the cluster area to be associated with the fpo and um, get their membership and things like that so i thought if we can mobilize the farmers in a short period and get them to start on with their work and uh, take up activities which are fast which have very fast fun and things like that I'm, i'll be coming to this activity part soon so there is no reason ki why we cannot start on with activities uh, within 3 to 5 6 months and start earning profits and things like that so uh, that was uh, that was uh, well. so but again the issue came okay, what should be the sort of activities uh, through which the fpo can uh, will be able to uh, generate profits within a very short period so uh, for that uh, i first of all i did a few analysis um, based on uh, uh, reports and data available on the internet and in fact what happened was um, in mp in mp sorry in mp uh, NRLM and sorry SRLM and NABARD had come out with a directory of FPOs. They, they had a directory of FPOs covering about 200 FPOs of Madhya Pradesh. 100 FPOs they give complete details of each and every activity, whatever it is doing, the complete history and all these things. So uh, I analyzed the data of all the 100 FPOs that uh, NABARD and SRLM had given, uh, stating that these are the good FPOs of uh, Madhya Pradesh. And based on that, I uh, did a few analysis and showed that uh, these FPOs, even though uh, they might be good, they might be functioning um, as per uh, this, uh, um, whatever criteria they might, but I showed it to them that they are not sustainable due to many reasons. They have got a very low capital base, they have not started on with activities properly and, uh, and things like that. So, uh, Looking at many things, uh, I thought ki I should be uh, writing a manual on this uh, smart FPO concept and I prepared a complete manual on this smart FPO concept. So, uh, and uh, one of the chapter, I'll, I'll just share that manual with you. I think I had shared the manual with you, the English version. Uh, yes.
Ramus, you are on mute. Yes. Uh -huh. So I would suggest uh, if you can share the outline of the uh, yes, yes. FPO pass mart FPO concept. Uh, yes. And, I, uh, and uh, I'm just coming to, I'm just sharing the uh, PowerPoint with you. Right. Uh, the screen is, uh, uh, my screen is uh, visible to you all. Yes. Uh, yes. Just uh, it started. Yeah. Then, uh, yes, sir. So, uh, so I've actually, I had actually shared this also with the. Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll share all the notes with all the participants. Yes, yes. Uh, I'll just go through it. I have made it bilingual because um, that, that's that's made it more convenient for me. So this smart FQ and this smart actually stands for the conventional S for specific, M for measurable, A for achievable, R for replicable, and T for uh, time bound. So. Uh, I'll just, this the second this screen. Uh, Sir, can this, you put it on full screen, please? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just put it on full screen. It's uh, it's visible now, the full screen. It's visible, but it's not yet become full screen. Hmm. I think it, it should have because it's. I'll... You can reshare the screen. That's okay. Yes, I'm resharing. Yeah, it's full screen now. It's, it's full Thank screen you. now. Yeah. Anna. So if you look uh, look at this, uh, I made a uh, small comparison with uh, of conventional FPOs and smart FPOs. So uh, the, uh, I'll just uh, brush through it. Because I think mm. most of you, know, I'd like to clear how exactly this would be achievable. That would be more interesting for you. For example, the business operation initiation for conventional FPOs, normally 15, 18, 20 months uh, before the start of any proper business, uh, it's there. And in case of smart FPOs, we will be starting it within four to six months. Initial business activity uh, of the conventional FPOs has been input and produce trading, seed production, and value trade. And seed production. These are these are normally the activities that is being taken up by the conventional FPOs: input and produce trading, seed production, input trading, produce trading, and seed production. But in case of smart FPOs, what we are suggesting is uh, CSC. CSC means common service center uh, and value chain or uh, development of milk and vegetables and things like that. I'll, I'll just come to uh, why I consider uh, uh, these activities. Instead of the conventional activities of input, input and produce trading, I'll, I'll, I'll just come to that. Apart from that, uh, the profit generation, uh, I'm claiming that we can start, that the FP can start earning profit in six to eight months. And how it is possible, I'll explain it to you. See how an FPO can become profitable within six to eight months. And FPO establishment cost, it will hardly cost six to seven lakhs to develop a complete FPO and uh, this six to seven uh, lakh rupees spread over say four to six months of this uh, period that I say. So investing four to about six to seven lakh rupees in four to six months would be sufficient uh, as the seed money for the FPO and uh, that would be sufficient, uh, I would like to say. And uh, so regarding the status after six months, uh, I think five, uh, mobilizing 500 members will be very easy within six months, uh, after one year, uh, I have kept it as a very uh, conventional figure of 800, 800 to 1000. It can, it can go more than more than that. St uh, capital also easily 10 to 15 lakh shareholder capital can be generated. And the profit after one year, uh, it's normally, normally uh, FPOs, this new uh, this new scheme FPOs I don't see any S uh, FPO earning any profit in the first second or even in the third year third year has not yet started so I'm I cannot be but looking at the trends I don't see them generating profit and uh, in case of this uh, smart FPO twenty lakhs is a very very nominal figure that I, I have put but uh, it, will, it will be certainly more than that and I'll I'll show you how it is. And employment generated uh, in, in case of conventional FPOs, it will be hardly even if a, even if a FPO can generate 10, uh, 10 um, jobs 
it will be a very good thing. In fact, I'd like to state that in the uh, 200 FPO uh, directory that you know, the directory that contained these uh, details of 200 FPOs that I had analyzed, there was just one FPO which had. 12 employees, 12 employees. This, in this 12 employees, they had also included the VRP. That's why it was 12 employees. So otherwise, um, the average, or I would say the modern number of em employees for the FPOs in Madhya Pradesh promoted by um, NABARD and SFAC, it's hardly three. So it's absolutely shocking. FPOs, pharma producer companies, company is a corporate, a public limited company having three employees. It's shocking. But in case of uh, this uh, smart FPOs, I think uh, it can be uh, in two years, the FPO will be able to uh, uh, generate more than 300, 400 new jobs. Depends on the dif different activities that the FPO would be undertaking. Uh, this was a basic uh, comparison between the two. I'll, I'll now... Uh, Uh, the uh, problem with this uh, conventional FPOs, I have just uh, put in four points. There are more than that. Lack of resources like technical knowledge, market knowledge, lack of competent manpower, lack of proper credit facilities. And the last point is improper or no business planning. And this is something that I have seen all over. Everywhere I have seen the FPOs would be having very short term plans. In most cases, they don't have any plans. They just start on with some activity and go ahead. Otherwise, uh, they might be having some short-term plans. And in some FPOs, and, and uh, I have seen them develop some Excel sheets for just for documentation or for some statutory reporting purposes and other things like that. But a business plan, which can be the best document for all the activities, such, such culture I have not seen in any of the FPOs anywhere. There may be, I'm not, I'm not contesting the fact that there may be a few who are uh, who have developed complete full, but I'm talking of a majority where this is happening. Now, uh, uh, the, uh, regarding the features of this uh, um, smart FPO, uh, I'll just go through it and I think it's self-explanatory. If there, if any particular point cannot be understood or how it is, uh, uh, how I assume the things you can just put up this uh, question while I'm the FPO will be able to manage its business in a professional and corporate manner. The primary produce will acquire requisite manager managerial skills. What we are trying to do through here is ki, uh, we are trying to uh, take the farmer a step ahead from being a farmer to a, being a farm manager. So oh, that's that's what I uh, we mean by uh, requisite managerial skill, skills. And the uh, next point is seamless financial linkages with credit institutions. Seamless financial linkages means the FPO will have absolutely no problem of funding from any sort of uh, credit institutions uh, for any of their. Uh, fund requirements it's it's it, it, that's also considered as i have given as a feature then the next is better coordination with government agencies financial institution along with facilities of real time fpo information to stakeholders the basic uh, idea is that everything will be functioning on a uh, well oiled digital platform Ownership fully taken up by the community. Ownership fully taken up by the community means the um, FPO uh, will be managing its own affairs in a democratic manner. That's the basic idea. The next is uh, consumers start getting pure and high quality foods at their store doorstep at lesser at lower than market prices. This may sound strange. This may sound very difficult, but uh, it's it's very much possible that uh, FPOs, while giving good food, pure food, organic food to the consumers, may not jack up the prices. In fact, uh, even if they sell it below the current market prices, they would be earning very good profits. I have uh, uh, developed it. I have checked the several models of it. Uh, and I am uh, 
आई एम कन्विंस की दीओस आर इन पोजिशन टू गिव दर फूड प्रोडक्ट एट लोअर देन मार्केट प्राइसेस and the last point is the highest level of use of technology where the consumers can just scan the qr code label and see the complete life cycle of the product in in hand and also have a video call with the producer group uh, just to explain it suppose uh, you have got matlab suppose i have got a packet of this rava or dalia or uh, spices oil or something I, that uh, packet produced by the fpo would be having a qr code just scanning that qr code uh, i can see the complete life cycle of the product that i have in hand for say it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a mustard oil say it's a uh, bottle of mustard oil so i've just uh, scanned the qr code i can see ki from which uh, field this uh, mustard and the uh, the mustard the, the raw material came and uh, also the complete life cycle of the pro, of the crop that means ki when the sowing was done when was the irrigation done what was sprayed and all these things the, the, uh, the photographs of all these things can be just uh, of the product the, the consumer has in hand not of other other products if um, the same product if somebody else has a product with a different qr code maybe that could have, that bottle might have come from a different field so again the complete details of that uh, product will be available and also have a video call with the producer group so that's all uh, that's also uh, the uh, level of uh, traceability that we can give through this uh, smart of your products now uh, the next point is uh, innovative feature uh, and apart from that uh, and the, the these are some more innovations that we are envisaging in this smart fpo you know? what is clear vision of bod uh, the bod the board of directors and other uh, major policy and planners of the uh, fpo would be having a clear vision of what exactly they are going to do and how they are going to do and things like that that's that's absolutely necessary that's one thing and judicious planning of first business activity and not only the first business activity all the other activities also in judicious planning because i'll uh, uh, as i mentioned i'll explain to you why selection of business activities is important the third is mobilizing sgs and figs instead of individuals to associate as group enterprises now uh, this is uh, another innovation that we are bringing on with uh, in the smart fpos that all activities all production processing packaging and all activities will be undertaken by the fpos as group and through group enterprises in which sgs and figs will be associated so that means all the activities will be undertaken by groups instead of individuals so again uh, uh, if you look back we will be uh, the fpo will be going in for Uh, mobilizing groups sg groups fig groups kisan clubs any other groups that are functioning in that area instead of mobilizing individuals transparent selection of employees and entrepreneurs through online application because a lot of employees and entrepreneurs would be needed so that for a transparent selection of these uh, people um, online systems have been um, planned effective awareness campaign through village level meetings this is This, this village level meetings the initial awareness campaign through village level meetings is an important is a is the most important component of this smart fpo concept i would say but i'll come to that later only when i am explaining the uh, what exactly is this uh, village level meetings coordination and involvement of government line department officials and village panchayats for fpo business plan planning and baseline survey this uh, do, uh, while this uh, village level meetings are being conducted it would also be involving uh, this coordination and involvement of government line um, they would also be involved uh, during this village level meetings for this fpo business planning this line survey and things like that then there is this smart community community farming activities um, this is uh, this is uh, something absolutely smart community farming activities is something absolutely innovative uh, uh, i don't have too much time to completely explain it because this is a completely different 
level of farming uh, group farming activities that we are planning through this uh, i'll i'll just, i'll be able to just give you a basic introduction only uh, while explaining the village level meetings and things like that so uh, uh, smart community community farming activities is something uh, which is uh, currently not being done uh, mm, as such but still we can uh, to we can see to some extent uh, these sort of models uh, in and around this uh, peri urban uh, farming near uh, bangalore and things like that that uh, their uh, high tech farming is being it's, it's it's somewhat on those lines but it's beyond it i'll explain it to you then there is a formation of executive council for uh, role and responsibility Uh, distribution mm, uh, i'd like to uh, tell tell you all that uh, in fact the producer company act 2013 it has got a very uh, separate section regarding this internal committees internal in fact it strongly recommends uh, the fpo should be having internal committees which would be assisting the board of directors in their day to day functioning and other things so uh, what we have done is ki Uh, we are uh, using that guidelines for uh, forming an executive council which will be the basic which will be managing the entire business activity and day to day functioning of this uh, uh, fpo they would be basically working under the board of directors as a, as the second level they would be the persons who would be executing all the orders all the um, decisions and orders of the board of directors and better management of social media obviously obviously social media has a huge role and uh, uh, social media means uh, there are there are many things like youtube facebook twitter etc which fios uh, have still not been able to use except for whatsapp i don't think uh, anybody is using uh, this uh, social media and, and involvement of experts government and departments and bank officials in in business planning and this i have already covered now this is uh, uh, there are some offshoots uh, uh, to this uh, smart fpo which uh, uh, which can have a very good uh, i should say ki um, which, which, which can have a very good reach and it would be also be interest to several government departments for example Uh, sustainable gaushalas i am not sure about uh, uh, telangana ki what is the situation of uh, whether they have whether, whether you have stray cattle population but in mp the stray cattle this uh, uh, stray cattle problem is very severe and to control this uh, stray cattle problems gaushalas have been uh, about 3000 more than 3000 gaushalas uh, gaushala means um, cattle home मतलब where we keep the old and disabled cows and things like that dry cows have been uh, developed in madhya pradesh but all of them are, are uh, empty in the sense ki none of the nobody is willing to take up those gaushalas because it is unsustainable for anybody who takes up about 55 lakh rupees is required per year to maintain about 100 uh, cow and uh, without government and the government is not willing to give anything so uh, for uh, managing this gaushala so it's very difficult for anybody to manage because 55 lakh rupees uh, per year for this one gaushala it's it's, uh, it's it's very difficult uh, because uh, uh, the revenue that could be expected from a um, gaushala is uh, certainly uh, very very less than uh, 55 so there is one sustainable but with fpo smart fpo this gaushala uh, can uh, work matlab like the smart fpo can take over the uh, gaushala and turn it profitable the, then sustainable portion vatika portion vatika basically means uh, nutrition garden and uh, uh, nutrition garden portion vaticas are uh, 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 many departments are uh, Uh, promoting this uh, portion vatika nutrition gardens through shgs and things like that or horticulture department panchayat department srlm women and child welfare there are many departments uh, 
uh, which are promoting this. And what the SQ can do is they can provide forward linkages to this portion, vertica, uh, vegetables, fruits, and all these things. Then third, the next is virtual neighbors. Uh, it will take me long to explain what exactly is virtual neighbors. Then there is, so I am not, I'm just skipping it, uh, just giving you a basic idea of it, it's given over here. Then there is agritourism, climate smart agriculture. These are all considered, I'm considering as offshoots of the main F, uh, smart FPO. The smart FPO would be doing their activities, but uh, these uh, five, six different projects will, aut will automatically come through different agri, uh, sorry, different uh, government departments or through the community itself because uh, these are things which are directly connected to the FU. So these, uh, these, these are, uh, I should say, um, offshoots. Offshoots is the best word. Now, uh, what support we are offering, I'll just skip it now. Now, uh, I'll come to I'll come to uh, this uh, basic budget. Should I, uh, Ramu sir, should I take this budget part or should I go on to the uh, this uh, manual See, part? My, and... my suggestion would be, my suggestion would be, uh, let's be focusing on what are the interventions which can change the way FUO can function. Because currently, FUOs are all doing certain activities. Are yeah. we going to change the activities or the way the particular activity is carried out, so in the means the approach, either is a, a different activities are we going to do, or the same activity but in a different approach. Uh, so how are we going to do is one question which we need to answer. Yes. Second, second is what is that ecosystem we are talking about? Say for example, if you are saying uh, within six months a PO can get into business then what is the support systems required say instead of waiting till 18th month if they start a business in the sixth month itself then what do we need to do what do we yes, need sir. to do so yes. what is the ecosystem we need to create is more important third yes, if we are talking about more staff we are also talking about more expenses as well which hmm. essentially means how do we mobilize capital particularly in a situation where it was the investment of members is very low, right? Every FPO will have, uh, every member has maximum of 2,000 rupees investment. If there's a 2,000 rupees investment, how are we expecting the FPO to do a 10 crore business? So what is that strategy? I think these are the important questions which uh, uh, people ask for. So if you can focus on these activities, it will be helpful. Yes. Uh, uh, I have to take the activities part in two or three, different part. Since you have asked about this uh, uh, activities, first, uh, because activities as such is a very broad term, well, one set of activities would be for the smart FPO development, for the mobilization of people and things like that. That is a different set of activities. The second set of uh, the, uh, the second set for which we would be using activities would be the business activities, which would be yes. the Yes. So we will be having two sets of activities. One is the FPO formation activity and the second is the business activities. So uh, first of all, I'd like to take up the business activity uh, part first because there is a, well, as you had mentioned, uh, there is a curiosity of what exactly are the business activity through which we can expect uh, fast fund flow and uh, fast Correct. better Correct. returns. Correct. Yeah. So, uh, so I'll be taking up that part first business activities and how uh, uh, through this business activities we can expect to get good return and fast returns right sir right, right. so once we complete mala once we are through that then i'll come to the uh, second part this uh, set of activities set of events that we need to conduct for uh, developing a uh, smart fpo that would be the second part so i'll second part. Uh, uh -huh. so, so first of all i'll come to that uh, business activity part so for that i am sharing my screen yeah yes uh, my uh, uh, it's it's uh, this is a resource manual i have uh, shared with uh, ramu sir and i have um, uh, i'll share with i suppose it has been shared with everybody 
so uh, i'll just come to it the, the title is planning the plan and um, i'll just skip all these things this is these are the contents and all these things uh, this is introduction then uh, so in the smart fps basically uh, what the, it, it's the same as what i had explained just now and there is a background of uh, the analysis that i have said it's it's available over here in fact uh, this chapter 4 credit policy adopted by banks uh, this is also a very good eye opener yes for, finances uh, also we need to look at but uh, first let's look at business development uh, yes, and yes, strategies yes, uh, and then we'll come to finances next yes yes this is the flow chart of this uh, new fpc uh, generation i'm just skipping it right now and there is a grand chart also and now i'm coming to that part selection of the first business activity huh. Huh? Uh, can you read it or should i magnify yeah it's uh, can you move it up yeah ah uh, uh, little bit up Can I magnify? No, also move it up because it is in the half screen, so you can move it up, right? Ah, uh, and ah, uh, right, and then yeah. It's. I think it's now Bro uh, broadly explain. Broadly explain. Yeah. Ah. Uh, so uh, this first business activity uh, of the FPO, the first business activity proposed to be undertaken by the FPO lays the foundation to the success or failure of the FPO. it's very important right. because ha uh, the first business activity is very important and uh, uh, the important parameters to be considered for selection are working capital required the working capital requirement should be low as no financial institution will provide huge working capital loans to fp mala a new fp cannot ex expect uh, 50 lakh 60 lakh 80 lakh rupees working capital loans from banks or any credit institution Uh, as a new fpo uh, they may be eligible for 60 lakhs but that would be at the later stage when they have grown up but right now in the initial stage what the maximum they can expect is 5 lakh or 10 lakh rupees as working capital the second point is uh, so the point is key the working capital requirement of the first business activity should be low the second is return on investment or profit margin gross profit whatever it is whatever we the profit margin has to be high so as to cover the admin costs and also give attractive returns to the participant farmers that's also important there's no point in uh, taking up uh, business activities with 1% 2% uh, margin and generally if you look at the produce trading activities they are uh, hardly half percent 1% percent, uh, 2% percent businesses not more than that so uh, the third point is fund flow frequency fast fund flow activity should be preferred as this will help the fpo to maintain liquidity to meet exigencies and other 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 costs other parameters was I'll, I'll 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 be taking up this the other parameters uh, uh, worth considering capital investment for plant and machinery what i am saying here is if the uh, activity that we uh, that the fpo is taking up it requires some plant and machinery and if that is covered under aif or ahif uh, schemes where no collateral guarantee matlab the government gives collateral guarantee then uh, there is no harm in look you matlab going matlab going in for those, those sort of activities because um, aif and ahif uh, uh, schemes are a priority for government and banks are also cooperating in it so uh, it's uh, comparatively uh, simple easy to get loans which can be covered under aif and ahif ahif is animal husband infrastructure scheme and aif is agriculture infrastructure scheme second is uh, uh, seasonality 
third is resin third is next is risk of business loss employment potential and competition so the uh, these are so total we have got about seven or eight points uh, and based on that uh, uh, i have here i have given the sum summary the first activity selected by the fpo should hence have the following features capital investment so these are seven seven points just go through it i'll just let me connect my charger yeah, uh, laptop charger because the power is low but just just go through it and i'll just yeah. i'll be just joining you in a half a minute Uh, I'm back. Uh, I've connected my uh, laptop charger. So uh, what I was. Shahji, one yes, question. Uh, one yes, question I have. Say yes. the, it's a good point you are raising, but it will be helpful if some of these can be uh, explained better. Say, for example, if you are saying risk of business loss, uh, what do you mean by that, and how we can deal with that? Yes. Uh, first, first business activity certainly should be low risky. But how do you assess which activity is low risk? Because many times people feel input business is low risky. But uh, you already said that it's not not like that. Then how? What is the criteria you use to assess the risk of a business? And then based on that, uh, people can if you can make a choice. Uh, risk of business loss. Um, here I have given an example also. For example, if the FPO goes in for seed production. The sale of seeds is normally limited to a very small window of about two to three weeks, during which all stock should be disposed. If it is not disposed of within these two to three weeks, once the sowing activity is completed, then uh, it's a complete business loss for that uh, FPO in the sense ki that uh, the seeds will be treated only as grains and cannot command the prices that uh, 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 the. the fpo would be expecting for seeds so that is one sort of business loss that we are talking about. so uh, i'll um, these these are the seven points that uh, i have uh, so i am suggesting ki the first business activity the initial business activity should be having means capital investment which can be funded by banks under aif ahf then low working capital high roi profit margin of over 10% daily fund flow well a fast fund flow Uh, uh daily fund flow low business risks with options for fpo to cover the risk of product perishability ha eh? uh, low matlab uh, uh, low business risk if the fpo if, if fpo is dealing with some perishable item but takes uh, steps to cover the product perishability uh, and increase the shelf life and things then, then then we can consider that activity as a low risk activity Right, employment generation activity and nil or very low competition. I'll just uh, uh, I prepared several matrices uh, explaining these things, so I'm not uh, uh, going detail into detail all this. But there is one matrix that I have uh, created uh, before going through this. I'd like to just show you. Uh, there is a there is a chart that i would like to share with you i think i should be making is it is it clear indicative list of business activities for fpo is, is this ah. is, uh, is, can you see this screen ah uh, we can see so you mean to say we need to yes. get into businesses which have regular cash flow rather yes. than seasonal 
So yes. this is the fa- one point you are saying. Yes. Okay. I- I, I, I'll, 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 I'll be just coming to it, but I'd like to just share this. Uh, there are, I've covered about 25 different activities that uh, FPOs would normally be undertaking. Okay. It starts, it starts with trading of farm inputs, the rate that the normal, what we say, retail outlet, aggregate. So about 25 different activities that, uh, uh, and uh, here we can see that I have classified it on about seven different uh, parameters, capital investment, plant and machinery, then working capital requirements, then ROI or this uh, profit margin, whatever we call it, then fund flow, then seasonality, then risk of business, then employment generated. And here uh, I've given the key also, for example, working capital CC limit, uh, if it's below 5 lakhs, I would consider it as low 5 to 15 lakh, I'll consider it as median and above 15 lakhs, I'll consider it as high. This I'm talking specifically for New, new FPOs because uh, suppose uh, there is a f- five-year, ten-year FPO which is uh, ha- which is having a turnover of say uh, uh, one crore, two crore rupees for them. Uh, even ten lakhs would be low and things like that. So, but this is a general uh, uh, classification that I have prepared for new FPOs uh, based on uh, what I feel the bank would be feeling. Uh, fund flow below 5 lakh rupees, uh, there, there is something wrong. There is something wrong here. Uh, the, 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 it's, it's, um, so here you can see uh, this uh, activities, say 12. And activity 12, you can see the working capital is low. Trading of vegetables, working capital is low, but ROI is also low. It's about 2 to 5%. The fund flow is fast. It's a uh, since it is vegetable, it's daily activity. Business loss risk is comparatively low because we are just trading uh, the vegetables. Uh, and the FPO would be procuring it and would be selling it to uh, secondary dealers and uh, things like that. So that's why I've kept it as low because it's they are fast moving. So if you look at it, uh, there are four or five activities. For example, processing of vegetables, milk processing. These are uh, uh, activities where you can see key the uh, working capital is low, the, but uh, ROI is high, fund flow is high. So based on that, I have prepared a matrix over here, uh, which I'd like to explain. I hope you can see this. And uh, this. Uh, uh, yeah. Yes, uh-huh. yeah. So uh, here, the, in this horizontal, I have taken the fund flow frequency. Uh, towards left it is low fund flow and towards right it is high fund flow and capital requirements is on the vertical uh, bar uh, so high capital slow fund flow I have uh, put in a few activities uh, like uh, seed production, storage warehouse, food processing and all these things uh, oil, uh, high capital fast fund flow again uh, I have kept it uh, agriculture, produce trading, trading of livestock import and if you look at the uh, uh, bottom right, it's low capital and fast fund flow. Trading right. of livestock produce, vegetable pack house, common service center, milk processing. These are the activities which come into this category of low capital and fast fund flow activities. So, uh, and I have uh, explained it a bit also here. So what we need to uh, what we need to do is key, let's 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 examine key uh, say for uh, taking milk processing as, as an example. I'm not talking of milk trading. I'm talking of milk processing. Uh, let let uh, let me take milk processing as an example, and you uh, uh, and I'll explain as to uh, why the working capital is low. What happens is key uh, when uh, farmers or, uh, or uh, supply this milk to some agency. Uh, normally, a seven-day or eight-day cycle is maintained for uh, maintained for the payment of uh, uh, for the milk. Uh, say the milk uh, supply, the farmer starts the milk supply on first. He would be getting the payment of uh, first to seventh on eighth. Similarly, the next. Paycheck, we would be getting on 15th and 22nd and things like that. It's, it's normally a seven day or eight day cycle. This means that the FPO would be getting the milk from the farmer for seven days and the payment has to be made 
only on the eighth day. The FQO as such doesn't need any working capital uh, for payment to the farmer. Payment to the farmer because the returns for the produce, uh, uh, the returns from selling the milk is already available with the farmer. The FPO has already received the payment of the milk from the customer and the FPO will be uh, keeping the farmer's money of milk the uh, of uh, milk sales for seven days and will be giving it only on the eighth day. That means the FPO doesn't need other money to pay, pay the farmer. Now let's compare this with uh, any conventional crop, say paddy. Suppose the FPO goes in for seed production of paddy or trading of paddy. What the FPO would need to do is keep the FPO would need to pay the farmer upfront within two days, three days, the FPO would need to pay. But the FPO would be getting the uh, uh, payment after the sale of the produce. In case of uh, seeds, it would be after eight to 10 months. And in case of uh, farm produce, it would depend three, four, five, seven days. Uh, we can't say how much time it would take for the FPO to actually get the payments uh, for the uh, produce they have supplied to the bigger distribute for the bigger uh, the mandi or whatever it is. So there is a difference between this uh, payment to farmers for milk and the vegetables also uh, the same is it's the same pattern ki the farmer would be supplying vegetables for seven days and would be getting the payment on eight day uh, and for uh, milk also it's the same so that's why i'm preferring these two activities because the uh, working capital requirement is uh, very low in fact uh, uh, working if you would not be needing any working capital and second is it's it's a very fast fund. Both of these are daily activities, very fast fund flow activities. There are few other advantages uh, if we if we take, if we consider these two activities, uh, milk and vegetable, and to some extent, I can I will include eggs, egg and day also uh, in this category. But uh, I'm talking mainly of milk and vegetable. Other advantage uh, that I would be having. Uh, if I go in for this uh, milk or... Hey, Sajay, one yes, uh, question here. Uh, yes. This is an interesting uh, argument you brought up. Say, perishables are often seen as risky, but you are saying they are much better compared to working with grains. So can you explain what is your logic on that? Yes, because in, um, in both the cases, we are not we are going in for uh, processing of this, uh, both for milk and also for vegetables also in the sense uh, for vegetables uh, uh, about 70 to 80 percent of the vegetables will be so sold as raw and about 20 right. to uh, and about 20 to 30 percent will be processed in the form of paste or powder or dehydrated vegetables mm. or something like that and 20 to 30 assuming ki that would be a, uh, a return back from the market and things like that, unsold mm. things. So, uh, so, so that's it. Similarly, for in case of milk, milk uh, here, uh, in case of milk, I am uh, taking an entirely different approach in the sense I am not going in for the conventional milk, uh, uh, milk uh, of uh, buffalo and things like that. Instead, I am going in for uh, deshi cow milk, Indian cow milk, Indian cow milk. Because Indian cow milk ghee has got a huge market. It is called A2 ghee. Yeah. Indian cow ghee. Uh, Indian right. cow uh, Indian cow milk ghee is called A2 ghee. And uh, it's uh, and the average price. Average price, even in fact, in fact, the lowest price of A2 ghee is about 2000 rupees kg. 2000 rupees. KG because uh, the only thing needed by uh, the customers is authenticity. So uh, here we are going in for uh, going in with uh, this deshi cow. We will be using the deshi cow milk for ghee and uh, once the cream and the ghee has been separated, the skimmed milk will be used for uh, flavored milk, lassi and uh, buttermilk and things like that. Again, which has got a shelf life of about five to seven days. 
सो इनफैक्ट मोर देन सेवन डेज मतलब वे वी आर प्लानिंग सो इन सो टॉकिंग ऑफ पेरिशेबिलिटी Uh, we are we have taken care of this perishability and things like that. And uh, the other reason as to why we are going in for desi cow is because we will be using the other uh, waste of uh, cow. For example, this uh, desi cow dung is considered to be very useful, very pure, and has got a very good market also uh, for many things. So the FPA would be going in for that also. And the desi cow urine, cow mutter that we call. It has again that has got a huge uh, purpose. मतलब uh, it has got a huge market. For example, cow mutter distill, distill cow mutter earth that we call has is used in many in the pharmaceutical industry. There are floor cleaners, cow uh, mutter based cow cow urine based floor cleaners have become pop popular. Many bio pesticides, most bio pesticides have cow urine as the as the base and things like that. Similarly, uh, talking of this cow dung, this uh, deshi uh, deshi uh, cow cow dung, uh, two very important products are being prepared. One of them is the uh, paint. It is called prakritik paint, and it is being promoted by KVIC, and it has got a huge market. In fact, uh, uh, you will be surprised to know that government of Chhattisgarh has. Ordered that all government buildings would be painted by this prakritik paint only. Only all government uh, buildings. It was issued on twenty second of December. I don't know how much they have followed, but again, uh, it has got a. Then the other the other product that we will can be prepared for, from dung is chrome P R O M. It's phosphate rich organic manure that is considered as a very good. and effective substitute of uh, dap so what i was uh, trying to tell is ki we are going in for those activities which has got a very uh, extended value chain along with uh, good uh, matlab satisfactory shelf life and things like that and again with uh, and uh, um, uh, what i mean to say is ki the profit margins are also high the other advantage that i was uh, trying to uh, tell about this uh, vegetable and uh, milk activities is ki these activities can be started at any time of the year the fp of the fp can start it at any time of the year but in case of other crops say paddy or wheat or gram or any other crop the fp would have to wait till the season arrives so again this is an advantage ki the fp need not wait till the season arrives it can start the activities at any point of time the uh, another point is ki all the activities the uh, under smart fp is proposed to be managed as uh, group enterprises through shgs and figs so uh, in case of this uh, vegetable production milk pro from uh, milk processing uh, vegetable and milk activities like okay, uh, these activities will be done uh, uh, as group enterprises and uh, for example in the case of milk uh, milk milk uh, milk processing activity uh, what we are planning is ki we will be working with 200 uh, gaupalak farmers at uh, in the pilot stage 200 farmers will be divided into 20 groups of 10 farmers each 20 shgs uh, women shgs with 10 members each 200 members uh, that would be the uh, initial uh, pilot phase uh, project uh, with about uh, 200 farmers with two cows each 400 cows so what i'm trying to say is ki uh, these 20 groups there is no need to start the activity procure the milk of all 20 groups from right from day one we can start with two groups the milk of two groups will be um, brought into the fpo they would be processed the pan, the products will be prepared and the products will be uh, either the initially the either the products can be given as samples or can be marketed at very discounted prices and things like that and once this uh, two uh, two groups three groups the initial three groups have stabilized then other two, two groups three groups can be added then three groups can be added so uh, within one or one and a half months all the 20 uh, 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 this shg groups can be onboarded so what is happening is ki we don't have a huge bulk of products right from day one the products the volume of products is being gradually increased to suit our marketing abilities and things like that and this also ensures ki there is no wastage as such and uh, the groups uh, 
and the FPU will also not be under too much pressure to maintain all the groups simultaneously directly in the first stage itself. So that's how we are. I mean, uh, uh, the activity would be taken. I mean, uh, would be carried out. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, so what I'm trying to say is that uh, I'm not saying that the FPU should not be going in for seed production or agriculture producing. What I'm saying is the initial activities. Can be in this uh, milk processing vegetable pack house, and in fact, I uh, have given a, a sample uh, sick. Uh, I have a, I have given a sample layout uh, for uh, three years. Ki what are the different activities that you can take, and uh, the timeline for when these activities can be taken up? Uh, here it is, sir. A three year business cycle activity sample i have prepared a, it's it's a sample and in fact uh, the fpcs can go along with it uh, this table you can see the serial number project activity activity starting month after business plan submission and so business plan submission month i am taking as the first month so then capital expenses it is it has got two columns uh, total required and loan required then fund source from where the source can come the working capital loan that would be required for how many months it is required and approximate amount and the annual gross profit during that first year of that particular activity here you can see it's zero i have started with zero common service center so zero i have kept it because i would want each and every fpo to immediately start on with common service center activities as soon as they have their office set up because this is an activity uh, which can increase the footfalls of the um, uh, community in the fpo people will get to know the fpo better the it that uh, that common service center can be the face of the fpo and uh, mo moreover uh, most banks are now willing to give kiosks there are many other agencies which are willing to give kiosks and apart from that government is also uh, providing um, kiosk this uh, common service center under digital india mission digital Indi india mission so uh, this is one activity uh, so from first uh, activity number 1 onwards you can say the first activity community community portion vatika that can be started in the second month community deshi gaupalan it can be started in the third month and if you look at the uh, fund requirements of this community portion vatika it would need uh, it would need about 5 lakh rupees of working capital for about two months just two months because one even this uh, two months i am assuming ki, uh, some preparations need to be made and during that period the admin expenses and other things has to be met so that's why i have kept it as this as a meager amount of 5 lakh rupees in fact even this amount uh, is exactly not needed but it's sort of provision and um, i am assuming ki within 12 months fpo would earn uh, able to about earn about 10 lakh rupees profit from this community portion vatika activity similarly the next activity that i am suggesting is this community deshi gaupalan activity this can start in the third month and there would be a capital expense of about 51 lakhs and uh, in fact this complete 51 lakhs uh, capital expense is covered under uh, ahif uh, animal husbandry infrastructure fund there uh, 43 lakhs would be approximately the loan components about 8 lakhs would be required as margin which can which we can show uh, key would be uh, which would would come out of internal approval same things like that and if you look at the, um, apart from that the, the, there would be about uh, um, as, uh, working capital requirements about 15 lakhs would be required uh, uh, but this is not required at in one instance i have just mentioned ki 15 lakhs would be required but if you add the 5 lakh of the earlier community portion vatika also so this uh, and uh, immediate requirement would be about only of about 5 lakh rupees and uh, the gross annual profit from this uh, deshi gaupalan activity in the first year would be about 105 lakhs 
uh, in fact i will share the entire uh, i got a different project reports of this i will share this ki matlab you also want to know how this 105 lakh comes so uh, uh, it can, it's it's very uh, well explained in this uh, in the different manuals that i have developed then there are the other activities smart community vegetable production and pack house and then community leafy vegetables program then uh, for this madhya pradesh we have got this uh, community bit so have been program so you can see ki total of six activities have been initiated in the, in the first year requiring a total uh, financial outlay of about 2.5 uh, crores so of which 1.86 uh, crores would be the loan component and uh, uh, if you look at it um, the fpo would be able to uh, earn a gross uh, surplus profit of about 2.76 crores in the first year itself from these activities if they undertake this activity this would be the approximate profit that uh, the fpo would be earning in, uh, in the first year now uh, i am coming to the second year in the second year you can see ki the, the activities of the first year has been con continued as such as, um, some new investment has been required in the smart community leafy vegetables program of about 50 lakhs and bits have been also about 20 lakh rupees uh, uh, new matlab additional investment is required because uh, the, uh, some the, the the second crop of the wheat so have been taking the wheat so have been cycle as an example the second crop would be coming in the second year so some investment is needed during the second year also but if you look at it lo no loan is required because fpo as you have seen in the first year itself has earned surplus of about 2.75 crores and of those 2.75 crores i think it would be easy, it would not be too difficult for the fpo to take out this 50 and 20 50 lakhs 20 lakhs but the, uh, the, uh, the thing of interest is in the first year the profit was something like 90 lakhs but in the second year when this uh, uh, i'm talking of this let me take this one uh, community deshi gaupana in the first year if you remember it was about 1 crore and the second year when all the cycles and uh, uh, after uh, scaling up instead of 20 groups uh, now going in with 30 groups 300 farmers the profit would increase to about 2 2.5 crores and in the second year this uh, highlighted in the green 6 to 12 have been taken for the second year for agri tourism bio input production smart community spices production program uh, spices complete cycle of spices oil seeds then uh, other thing then there is a potato crop cycle because in mp Uh, we have got potato belts and things like that. So, if you look at it, the uh, gross profit at the end of second year comes to about ten point five six crores. Now, I am moving on to the third year. Third year, you have got the first year. Uh, first year, uh, if you, um, if you remember, uh, the uh, uh, profit from uh, this cow milk milk production it was uh, 105 in the first year 250 in the second year it has increased to 412 in the third year similarly this leafy vegetable has increased to about 6 crores in the uh, third year so uh, and the third year uh, new some new activities have been started for example goat bank goat bank uh, is based on this uh, goatry mother unit that that was started in the second year then ntfp or medicinal plant processing unit mushroom processing and then cattle processing. so these are different activities that would be started in the third year and overall if you look at it in the third year uh, third year again the fpo would need an investment of about 2.3 crores but it would be earning a profit about 7 of about 17 crores and things like that so uh, if you look at i am uh, i have prepared the detail plans of almost all these activities as to how these profits and things like that would come so uh, what we uh, again this is this is a further extension of that table in the first year activities 
employment generated number of beneficiaries annual income for farmer in cash and kind and all these things have been given so if you look at the last column over here you can see ki about uh, 506 let me show you the title employment generated regular and or salaried in 3 years that about 506 new jobs will be created regular salary and about 400 part time workers will be the total number of beneficiaries for all these activities would be something like 13810 and uh, of which if you can say yeah, if we consider 95% so almost 13000 beneficiaries can be covered within this um, 3 years and the fpo in 3 years would be earning a profit a cumulative profit of about 30.44 Close. Yes, sir. Yeah, go on, uh, Shaji. Uh, I think uh, if we can uh, conclude in say in ten minutes, we can have discussion as well. There will be a lot of yes, questions. Yes. Yeah. The, um, uh, a point that I would like to uh, make clear is, yeah. Yeah, I have been able to do all these things because I had developed a exclusively FPO business planning software, which contains almost all these activities, all these activities and the informations are uh, maintained 3D. 3D means physical, financial and uh, uh, timeline dimensions. Okay. In three dimensions, we have made uh, so, so the, so, so I have developed this uh, software and using this software and uh, putting in the figures and all these things. So is, it available, is it available for purchase or is it available as a service? Sir, it's available as a service because I have prepared it, uh, I have developed the software exclusively for my purpose uh, because... <laughs> okay. Uh, uh -huh. Can you also share what would be the cost and other things? It will be easier for the people to uh, make an assessment? Yes, sir. Um, uh, I will now come to this um, budget part. Uh -huh. um, Just sharing my screen. Can you see? Mother, it's not visible, huh? So, uh, if we, mother, how exactly are we trying to uh, develop a uh, smart FPU? So, what I'm saying, and here. In, in this chart, you can see ki, malab, I have mentioned the different, malab, about 16 different heads I have covered in this. In, in fact, in the screen report, in this I had exactly shown ki what exactly are the activities that uh, we will be taking up, but I'll, I'll explain it through this. And the period of that activity, timeline, ki, when would that activity be undertaken, and expected costs and things like that. This can be used for new FPO also and also for existing FPOs to upgrade the FPOs for defunct FPOs and it can be used for anything. And in this, the, uh, the one of the most important activity is village meeting expenses. I will come to what it, exactly is this village meeting expenses. So, uh, 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 Orient, uh, what I am saying is we will be having a one day workshop with uh, this uh, a few board of directors, you and other lead farmers and things like that. And the entire business model will be explained to them. He, what exactly would be the business model and how we will be going about it. And uh, the participants will have a clear understanding of knowledge and knowledge of what exactly they can uh, look forward for the FPO, what would be the benefits, what will be the earnings and things like that. So in the first month, we'll be planning a, uh, uh, this uh, workshop, IEC materials printing, field functionary training. I am uh, I would be needing about 10 to 12 VRP and 3 uh, uh, about 12 VRP and 3 for videography. And I have uh, kept a provision of about 15,000 rupees uh, for them. But there is a slight change in this. Uh, 
uh, village meeting expenses uh, uh, we are assuming a cluster of about 10 villages and there will be an expense of about rupees 5000 per village this expenses i am taking it on the very higher side in fact it um, will matlab itna nahi lagega se kam hi lagega but exactly we want is ki while we are undertaking matlab we are doing this um, awareness creation and other activities in the village we may need to um, provide some uh, refreshment tea to the participants and other people and things like that and so that's why i have kept this amount as a budget then uh, village video and now let me come to what exactly is this village meeting activity uh, i'll just explain ki what exactly is this village meeting activity the village meeting activity uh, i remember having said ki this i i consider this this has one of the most important activity I'll, I'll just i'll just i'll just looking for another page just a minute sir just a minute it's very small eh hmm yes sir uh, village level meetings the village level meetings will include transact talk with videography uh, eight sets of focus group discussion panel discussions iec materials dis uh, dissemination crowd survey secondary data collection all these would constitute the village level meeting so uh, how exactly it is being it will be done and things like that uh, we can have a uh, another meeting because it would take a lot of time then uh, this fig and entrepreneurs mobilization dpr and business plan these are the different activities that uh, uh, i am uh, i am suggesting there are about uh, 16 different matlab uh, it comes to 1 to 16 Yes, so uh, the sixteenth one is formal launch of first business activity products. The uh, the sixteenth activity means the the uh, the FPI started business activity. It has uh, started uh, producing its products. It has started. It is now the packaging and everything is in the sample uh, distribution has been completed and now. the final uh, public launch of the product is being done so uh, i am taking that as the uh, last activity um, of the entire set of activities means formal launch of the business activity so uh, and this this you are saying all activity number 16 we can yes 50 days time yeah ah and then mean this we can do within 4 to 6 months that that's what i am saying it depends some bank formalities may take time processing machinery may time but still we can do the entire set of activities within 3 uh, to 4 to 6 months that's what i'm saying yes sir no no i and i got it yeah 4 to 6 months is you are saying right yes sir now we can uh, mm, Uh, start on with any questions answers and queries and things like that thank you very much uh, shaji i have a uh, few questions which participants have already asked uh, while they are registered yes. and i also have some questions uh, uh, i think oh, what well, as a strategy i feel, i think uh, Uh, as you said early start of activities and also choosing activities which are low risky and then more cash flows is a good idea certainly that is a good idea but uh, i 
feel if that has to be done, then the staff capacity should be built. And uh, given the kind of uh, human resources we are getting as uh, CEOs or of FPOs, uh, how fast and then how uh, how much support we need to provide and what support we need to provide so that all these can be done in the timeline. Say, even if it takes six months, first to six months, if this can be achieved, it will be great. But uh, how do we go? How do we deal with this issue in terms of human resources capacity? Is the first question. Yes, please, please continue, sir. Ah, so that's the first question. Second question, uh, when we are trying to uh, see, uh, when we are trying to mobilize the people and, uh, and then because of the programmatic requirements and project requirements, there'll be more focus on mobilizing farmers than on actually building the business. Obviously, you also mentioned that. But uh, we need to look at some kind of balancing act between these two things. So what is that balancing act which can be done is the second question. Third question, this entire business plan which you suggested seems to be very ambitious. And uh, have you tried this out in pe with people and how many you tried and then what is the, uh, I would say, what are the your experiences in implementing this? These three questions came up actually yeah yes sir i'll i'll start with the last question first right uh, ki, uh, whether we have already tried it or not uh, in fact uh, uh, the answer is negative in the sense uh, uh, we have given a proposal to navad and navad has agreed to do a pro uh, pilot of these two fpo uh, at least two to three fpos in uh, in around bhopal where we live the reason as to why we cannot, we could not do it till now. The second, the, one of the reason we three to four months since we have developed this complete concept of smart FPOs and things like that. Uh, um, we developed, it has been a gradual process, ongoing process. Many things have come uh, through our experiences uh, with on field visits and things like that. And it was in May that we developed and we showed it to this uh, state uh, MP state uh, agriculture department NABAD and all these things to get their feedback and get their support and uh, we did not directly go uh, we uh, we had an option of directly uh, catching up with some FPO and trying to uh, develop it as a smart FPO that, that option was always there for us but we did not uh, think of going on that line primarily because of two reasons. One reason is ki most of the FPOs that uh, uh, we were in touch with were already struggling. Were already struggling. The other FPOs uh, which were doing good, they did not feel the need for our presence or our support. That was one thing. And the FPOs that uh, were already struggling, they did not even have uh, they did not have funds to for the payment of salaries and things like that. So it was very difficult for them to arrange for funds that would be needed to do all these activities and things like that. That was that was one one, of, one part of the issue. The second part of the issue was ki, uh, as you can see ki, uh, um, uh, licensing with government officials banks and uh, um, line departments and getting their um, is a major uh, feature of this smart FPO because we need a lot of support in convergence, bank finance and things like that. So I would want this pilot, this uh, pilot FPOs to come, uh, so smart FPOs to be developed through government initiative. Only then I can have the proper response and support from government departments, banks and other things. So that's why I waited and um, hopefully uh, then uh, next, next week, I think by 15th, we'll be starting on with this pilot of uh, two smart FPO, two or three smart FPOs in MP will be starting. That was that was the question. La last last question. 
second हाँ. question second question in matlab your in fact your first question was ki how do we raise the capacity of our staff to uh, manage such big uh, portfolios and things like that i think that was your first question no sir yes eh? so if you uh, the, i have i have kept the screen open if you look at it point number 7 i got an executive council training executive council uh, 50 50 participants i have mentioned uh, and I, in fact uh, in the initial part of the, uh, today's uh, workshop also i think i had mentioned about this executive council this executive council will be the head and leg and arms of the fpo they would be the one who would be undertaking the different uh, Uh, business activity and other activities and things like that. There would be about ten different internal committees would be which would be managing the entire business and governance and all the all the activities of the FPO. Now, uh, apart from that, uh, I would also uh, I am also in the process of developing a complete uh, digital platform to manage the entire spectrum of activities for the uh, for the uh, for the uh, smart FPO. and uh, uh, digital platform means ki everyone would be having would be having their roles and responsible like uh, roles and permissions in the software so uh, the software system would be in this matlab you know, in fact guiding the fpo staff and board board and board of directors and other people other persons on um, running this uh, uh, fpo uh, so uh, okay. Right, training and capacity. So uh, the uh, FPO would not be individual dependent. It would be, in fact, uh, basically system dependent. A person can come and go, but the system will remain the same. Hmm. So uh, just like uh, if you look at how the banks function, a person, a manager may come and go, but whoever sits on that seat is being. Uh, uh, he has to. follow the systems that uh, that's in the, 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 he, the person is not important the system is important so what we uh, will be doing is ki matlab we will be developing such systems by which uh, most of the activities of the fpo runs starts running in an automated mode and things like that so okay. what was your second question i think uh, your second question was related to that this uh, this is being uh, highly ambitious and Yeah, yeah. Uh, sir. Um, in fact, uh, it may seem ambitious as of now. As of now, it may seem too ambitious. But if you remember, I had mentioned that I have uh, kept the pro- price of the products and things and all these things about fifteen to twenty, thirty percent lower than the market price. And even then, we are getting this much profit. so oh, that's that's something which we need to consider ki even even when we have kept the uh, price matlab income lower matlab sale income from sale of our products lower 15 to 20 25% lower than the market price whereas uh, the cost the cost of uh, the price pay to farmers and other things we have kept it at 15 to 20% above the market price the cost we have kept at 20% above the market price the income we have kept at 15 to 20% below the market price and even then we are earning this income i have in fact tested many models many different figures and things like that so what i am trying to say is ki maybe we may not be able to earn this 10 crore profit but even 1% of that 10 crore Yes, is much beyond what FPOs are earning no, no, right no. now. No, no, I agree with you, Shadi. See, yes, uh, one of the things uh, which caught my attention in the whole thing is uh, having a bouquet of business ideas. So yes, uh, and then building the capacities of the people to make a choice between them based on the resources available for them. I think that's a good idea. Uh, my only point is, uh, how do we? do this uh, if we have already piloted we want to learn from that otherwise we can try out at some place because this can be converted into a training module because see all these costs may come from other programs and projects so we don't need to 
cost for say for example uh, orientation workshop uh, village meeting expenses these things we don't need to cost because this will be met from the project costs yes yes uh, and uh, we can meet your cost and the training costs and then hmm. we can pilot it in some place uh, and then see how this can be taken forward so that is what i was thinking and uh, so from that point i was asking you about uh, uh, how feasible the whole idea is second point i, I already asked you uh, the software which you are talking about uh, at some point of time can you demonstrate or if you are offering it as a service can you let us know what would be the cost of it as a service uh, kind of thing then it may be easy to consider we work with uh, so at csa we work with about 65 fpos and uh, we also regularly organize courses for not only for our fpos but also several other fpos we are a resource organization for about 250 fpos in andhra telangana okay and uh, we also work with various state governments in chatisgarh uh, karnataka and many other states so we need a good training module and we also need resource persons who can do these training programs so this is what we were trying to look for so in that background uh, the strategy seems to be good enough and uh, if we can discuss and then convert this into a course which can be offered to the people and pilot it in one of the places it may be very helpful this is what i feel from my side yes yes sir we can pilot that's, that's... that's exactly what i would also suggest we can pilot it at one place uh-huh. at the same time uh, uh, i have developed a, a diagnostic study also i'll share that also with you mm-hmm. but it's not exactly a diagnostic study it's a, uh, uh, it's a, the title is symptomatic assessment of fpo bottlenecks and prescription for effective revival okay so ha uh, this is uh this is a so- sort of uh, study which uh, me and my team can conduct over uh, over the net through webinars two or three 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 or four webinars with the fpo and we can we'll be able to uh, uh, come to complete uh, this symptomatic assessment and we can also provide an action plan of what exactly uh, they need to do and things like that so that can also be done uh, uh i would suggest ki uh, that that should also be done now we can start on with uh, pilot in one or two fpos and simultaneously we can start undertaking studies but that study has to be done by you and by your people because we okay. we have this language constraint no no i understand that so uh, the the idea would be what you can do what we need to do so that uh, we can uh, do Uh, together i think that's the whole idea yes, what, yes yeah 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 so we'll discuss this and then uh, try those things out uh, mm-hmm. i open the discussion to the participants any question yes. ha ha any question we'll we'll set up from the participants any questions please in in fact sir uh, 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 looking at this uh, the screen that is in front of you i will mm-hmm. strongly suggest that we should be going in for this activity 5 village video documentary and also this uh, baseline and diagnostic study also because while we are doing this village level meeting while we are doing this village level meetings means this transact walk mm. transact walk that will be done with videography Correct. and those video clips will be used to prepare the village documentary so there is no extra effort that is being done at the same time the fpo can have a youtube channel where it can upload all its video documentaries and things like that and at least the presence of that fpo will start to be established on the social media this regarding this uh, baseline and diagnostic study report also this information will be collected during the fgd you don't have any contact sharing the location Uh, this uh, baseline and diagnostic study uh, we'll be having uh, uh, during this uh, matlab the information for this uh, baseline and diagnostic study will be collected during that uh, uh, focus group discussion and the transact walk that we'll be having during that village level meeting 
so if you can if you can find some funder for these baseline reports and diagnostic study reports because these uh, this these are actually a wealth of information i'll share the link of some sample diagnostic study and baseline reports with you yeah please so yeah, ha please. so that can be very useful for the uh, fpo and even for the all the uh, planners and policy makers the state government departments and so you can look at it from that 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 aspect also sure that sounds good yeah uh, any questions from the participants please yeah anybody can ask any uh... I guess Ramu sir had covered all the questions in his three questions. Yeah, if uh, there are no more questions, uh, just I'm trying to summarize the whole uh, discussion today. Uh, in the convention, the current approach of uh, uh, waiting for say two to three years and then starting the business instead of that one going to the first business which can give which can be low risky and then uh, have regular cash flows is a good idea and having a systematic approach to understand the local opportunities local problems and building on that is also a good idea probably uh, we, we can from csa side we can pilot in some places and uh, to just update you shaji we csa works with large number of apos in ap telangana directly and also as a resource organization we also offer extension services with village business development organic certification and we also have an erp platform which is offered as a service to the uh, fpos for managing their day to day activities this is what the csa is doing uh, as part of its work and uh, it was great talking to you and then listening to you your experiences and uh, certainly we will explore possibilities of collaboration in piloting some of your ideas so that we also can learn from you and uh, like i mentioned krishna sudha academy for agroecology is also uh, going to organize several training courses so one of the courses we can do on smart apos as well and uh, we also have an online platform called gramin academy uh, where these training courses are done online regularly so we can also build a course on uh, smart apos together i think these are all the possible options uh, in front of us in collaboration and uh, uh, thanks for agreeing to do this session uh, at a very short notice thank you very much uh, thank you all participants uh, next week we'll come up with uh, another uh, experience another idea and so that we can enrich ourselves uh, about ideas and experiences and knowledge available in the civil society in terms of finding alternatives for the current crisis in agriculture thank you very much have sir, a good day sir to uh, uh, before we close uh, i'd like to thank you and i would consider it as my privilege and good uh, fortune that uh, we are getting to work with uh, people like you matlab good people like you that's that's uh, that's what i I'd, i'd like to stress i'd like to stress the word good good people Thanks. like you and and uh, i think matlab hai ki we should come together to because we are the people who can provide solutions sir frankly speaking right yeah we, we are the people who can provide solution and if we we don't provide solution there will be nobody providing solutions let's pilot this yes yes sir thank you okay, very sir. much thank you thank you sir thank you